I don't know about you, but I think there's almost nothing more frustrating than working on a project, having something go wrong, and not being able to figure out why. And that's exactly what was happening to me when I was trying to figure out the print and cut function with my X tool and trying to make stickers with their sticker paper. The first several times that I ran images through, printed it, had it cut in the X tool, I was getting sticker outlines that were off of the original design and not just by a little bit, like way off. Check out this leaf sticker right here. This is where it printed and this is where it cut. No good, right? And this happened to me several times. I went in and tried to be super careful with where I was laying the sticker paper and then I was really careful with where I was laying the blue mat inside the X tool and none of those things were making any difference. So then my husband tried to do it from his computer using some different images and first time through, perfect outlines, perfect cuts, perfect stickers. It was so frustrating. But being armed with the knowledge that I knew our machine was fine and there must be something else going on, I dove in a little bit deeper and here are two things that you can try if you are having trouble with uh, print and cut with your X tool. The first is about the way that you bring your images into the X tool Creative Space software. For this first set of stickers that I did, I put a bunch of PNG files together into uh, one file in Illustrator and brought them in as a group like this. Did the outline. That's how I kept getting the cuts that were way off from where the design had actually printed. In trying it again, I didn't try to combine all of the pictures into one. I just uploaded each PNG individually and then spread them out on my page and then did the outline. Once each individual picture was loaded in, then I could resize them. I spread them out um, onto the workspace and then gave them the outline. Another weird thing that was happening was when I would go to print, my printer would spit out one blank page and then it would print on the second page. So the workaround I used was just putting two sticker pages in and then I would spit out the first one and print on the second one. But then here's another adjustment that I made that I think also helped the outcome of the sticker cut. When you click process, it's going to pull up this screen here that tells you you need to uh, send it to your printer. I had to scroll down on the side to find the button. Uh, but then you click print. Here in my print dialog box, I'm going to click more settings and I click on the paper slash quality tab. Then I have the option to change the paper size. So click A4. That's the size of the sticker paper that comes from Xtool. Then you can also change the quality to best and then hit OK and print. Once it prints, then you will put the blue mat down inside the Xtool, uh, take off the protective film so that it's sticky on the bottom, press it down, then remove the film off of the top of the blue mat, press in your printed sticker paper and close the lid. Then you can click next and then start and then you'll push the flashing button on the actual X tool machine. The blade will cut around each sticker and then it will beep when it's finished and you can take it out of the machine. Check it out. This has a perfect outline around it. Okay, so here is the lime sticker that I just pulled off right out of the X tool. And then I can pull the rest of the white sheet away and we'll see how good it did on all of the other sticker outlines. So we've got good, even outlines around every sticker. So if you've had this problem with trying to make stickers with your X tool and try these fixes, let me know if it works. Hey, and before I go, if you are considering getting an X tool, if you've kind of been on the fence, now is a great time because for just about three more weeks, I have a coupon code that X tool gave me that I can pass on to you guys. So if you use the code crafting in the rain, all one word, when you're checking out, you can save $120 off of a $1,200 or more purchase. Uh, and this will be good through March 23rd of 2023. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.